Okay, Shalom. Let's give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai, but Shem Rakaka Dash. Your warrants to our apostles of Great Millstone, our elders of GMS. Alright. Oh, this is beautiful. Just turn the camera and see some Jake's walking this way. They go around, they jump in the fence just to go around. I don't even want to walk by, man. You know, I ain't got nothing to say to them. The most high ain't did, don't want to say shit to them, you ain't gonna say shit to them. You know how the spirit works. You know how the spirit works. The spirit deals with, you know what? But, but the funny thing is, the people are marked anyway, man. These people are marked anyway, it don't matter. You know? Like the script, you know, which was, you know, what, what the script is meant, Which was meant for your, the thing that was meant for your salvation is, has become a stumbling block. You know? These people, they, they were taught the, 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 the scriptures. A, a, a false interpretations of the scriptures and it become a, a assembly block to them, man. You know? Uh, uh, the fact of the matter is, the scriptures, according to the truth, the white man is an Edomite. According to the scriptures, the Lord is only coming for Israel. You know? You know? According to the scriptures, the Lord is only dealing with his people, man, not everybody. He ain't bringing everybody together. You know? That's according to the scriptures. According to the scriptures, the Lord is a so-called black man, a so-called Negro. He ain't no goddamn leper's dog. You know, he's a so-called Negro, whether you like it or not, you know. And he's just things, like I said, man, in the name, you know. The thing about the name, you know, he's only dealing with his people, his, the Israelites in the spirit, man, that's going to receive his name. Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah. You know, and everybody's not going to receive it. So, like I said, let me see if I can find this scripture. It's bright as hell out here today, man. The, the light is shining on me. <laughs> The light is shining on me. You know. Just shows you proof it even verifies even more that you know it's the Lord who's it's, it's, it's the Lord who actually blocks in these people's mind man. you know it's just scriptural too and that's another thing which is uh, you know just people just don't want to accept the truth for what it is man you know you gotta uh, you know you gotta deal with this truth you just can't deal with anything and everything and every philosophy and mix it up and Stir that shit together and make up your own thing, which is actually a lot of the black, a lot of Israelites is doing that, man. You know, just making up shit. You know, it's taking me a second to find this scripture, though. It's just one specific one that I want. But there's a couple of them. Let me read this one before I find this other one, though. Therefore, thus said the Lord, Behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people and the father and the son together shall fall upon them the neighbor and his friend shall perish again therefore thus said the lord power Yahweh, behold i will lay stumbling blocks before this people you know how did he lay these stumbling blocks before the people he gave you he gave you uh blind leaders man these what they they call themselves these pastors in these churches mega 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 church leaders you know what i mean mega church leaders they call it mega church leaders because these people are uh, uh, they're attracting masses of fools, man. Mega church leaders, you know. And these mega church leaders is telling you all, uh, te uh, teaching you the precepts of men, where the precepts of men aren't, isn't considered, isn't, um, isn't um, by truth. The precepts of men isn't uh, the truth, you know. It's by the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and truth, man. The precepts of men. The precepts of men is just they're afraid of, they, they're afraid of, they're worried about what men think. Their thing is they're concerned about what men think and how they feel, men and women, you know? 
the Lord can give it. The Lord can give a damn about how these, especially these filthy bitches, man. He can feel. He can care less about how these men and these women feel, man. And especially women, man. You know, he can care less about how they feel. You know, again, we're dealing with truth here. You know, and to a lot, the, the, the truth, the scriptures is offended. It's offensive. You know, and the scriptures also says, "Blessed is he who is not offended." You know. So these people want to be taught the precepts of men, lies, deceit, you know. So here we go right here. This is I'm going to the book of Shirah. Uh, this is a bad scripture too. This is Shirah 23 and 19. Such a man only fears the eyes of men. Okay, let me start up. Two sorts of men multiply sin. And the third will bring wrath. A hot mind is as a burning fire. It will never be quenched till it be consumed. When a, a devil that, you know, that hold grudges as if he's a perfect fool, like he's a perfect devil, holding grudges, constantly just quick to get angry, quick to get mad, quick to hold grudges, quick to, you know, quick to do something wicked. I'm saying, will never be quenched till it be consumed. A fornicator in the body of his flesh will never call, cease till he have kindled a fire. All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. He will not leave off till he die. Uh, so, you know, a perfect example, this, that, these scriptures is perfectly uh, describing a nigga. These books, is, these, books is per this, these scriptures is perfectly describing uh, these pastors, man. Perfectly describing these pastors. They're hypocrites, you know. So it says, a man that breaketh wedlock, saying, thus in his heart, who seeth me? I am compassed about with darkness. The walls cover me, and nobody seeth me. What need I fear? But no time would not remember my sins. Wrong. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and knoweth not the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret part. So, uh, 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 see, again, these people only fear uh, what people think, man. You know, these pastors, these people that run these mega churches, they're only concerned about how people feel. So they feed to these people's emotions, you know. Wrong. The Lord is an austere man. He's an austere. He's strict, man. That don't. That don't. That, that's not describing somebody that's uh, 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 that's concerned about someone's uh, emotional needs. You know, that's crazy. Emotional needs. Um, so again, uh, he he. Uh, the, it's the Lord that laid these stumbling blocks, and how he laid these stumbling blocks. That's what we explained to you. You know, the different ways the Lord laid these lays these stumbling blocks. So let me see if I can find the scripture though. It's a bad scripture. I have to find it. There's a lot of scriptures. There's quite a bit of scriptures on the on stumbling block. This comes up with 18 results to that stumbling block. That's a hell of a stumbling. That's a hell of a topic. That's the stumbling block that I'm pretty much going in, you know. But uh, that's that really wasn't my intention from going into it. But like I said, you just go with the flow, man. You go with the spirit. Because I'm definitely going to. Uh, there's something I just want to bring up, you know. Uh, I might have to turn my resolution up some. got to read this one. This is Romans 11 and 9. I'm going to start up a little bit though. And, and, and if by grace then is it no more of works. Otherwise grace is no more grace. But if it be of works then is it no more grace. Other, otherwise work is no more work. What well, then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for but the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. So this, again, this is all being controlled by the Heavenly Father. So he blinded some, but he gave this truth to others, you know, which at others is a small number. It's just a lot smaller number than these, than the ones he blinded, man. According to that, it's the most I have given them the spirit of slumber. Uh, the, see, that's the point. According as it is written, written in what? Written in this book that we read, the Bible. 
the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber. So it's the Most High that's blocking some out and waking up some and waking up others. Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. So it's common sense when you see truth. When you see truth, you see it, you know? Where it speaks for itself. It speaks for itself. So it says. Hold on, I lost my place here. Romans 9. I can't put signs out. Moon is blowing too much right now. Let me find my scripture back. All right. Okay, unto this day, unto this day. And David said, let their table be made a, stair, a snare and a trap and a stumbling block. Again, and David said, let their table be made a snare, their table, you know, which represent, uh, uh, you know, their, 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 their wisdom, their knowledge. You know, you know what? Let me just go into it. Let me just go into that table. You know, you know Esau, how he just put a table as a table. You know, I'm going to the blue letter slide. No clue what's going on. No, no, don't show me because I got it. Oh, this is beautiful. This is, I, 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 what I want, no, no, don't show me. Please, don't. What I want to ask you is that kind of... Uh, who was Hagar's husband? Because she was buried here in the night. She gave her handmaid. 
Maintain the spirit here. These people are worried about everything, what they, but what they need to be concerned about. He's worried about this. The, he's more. He's worried about Ishmael. You know. Okay. Here we go with table. It says a table on which food is placed, just like I said, an eating place, a table in the temple at Jerusalem, which the consecrated loaves were placed, equivalent to the food placed on the table to set a table, put food before a banquet feast, the table or stand of a money changer where he sits exchanging differences kinds of money for a fee. So I, I figured it wouldn't give you much on their table. On their table. Okay, let me, I'm still trying to dig here. I'm still trying to dig, I'm still digging a little here. Just like tables, like speaking in, um, uh, slang, like we use the, uh, the, the term bed. You, you, lay, you lay in bed with them, not meaning actual had laying in bed having sex, but laying in bed doing business together. You know what I'm saying? Speaking in slang. So the Most High said, let their table become a snare. Be made a snare. Oh, let me get it. Instead of losing my place. It says, and David said, David, who's uh, first in command here on, the, here on the planet Earth, behind you, how shy, let their table be made a snare and a trap. A snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. So ultimately this table, this snare, which is going to lead to your death, that's, that's, you're being set up, man. You're being set up and led to your destruction. Period. Period. You know? A perfect example when all hell breaks loose. Perfect example is when the Lord, when the, when the children of Israel in the, in the past called on the Lord, he called on his name, he, he delivered them. And the same thing in these times. Because that's what's pretty much sustained us, and, uh, and, and I'm bearing witness that sustained me in this truth is that name, man. Call it and praying on that in that name, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Praying in that name, it sustained us, man. So when all hell breaks loose, they're gonna be calling on all these whatever names they come up with, man. All the foolish names and and, and, and false gods and, and, and that they call on, they have these uh, crazy names, man. You know, so it's gonna become a stumbling block. You know, which pretty much like the scripture says. Like the scripture says, which, like the scripture says, that that's a snare and a trap. All right, let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their backs all way. I say then, they stumble that they should fall. God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation has come unto the Gentile for to provoke them to jealousy. So, uh, let's sit on that. It's still that one I want. It's this one specific one I want. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a real good one. First Corinthians eight and nine. Here's a real good one. But, but meat commended us not for Yahweh, for neither if we eat. Are we the better? Neither, if we eat not, are we the worse? But take heed, lest by any means this liberty, going to the word liberty, 
of yours become a stumbling block to them that are weak. Uh, curiosity. I like using what we have, man. Instead of just keep carrying this out here week after week and not using it. Okay. Okay, this is what the Bible dictionary says. What liberty is. Freedom, the opposite of servitude or bondage. The opposite of servitude or bondage. So what the scripture say again? What the scripture say again? But take heed, lest by any means this liberty of yours, this liberty, this freedom, this the opposite of servitude or bondage, whether physical or slaves, because in the scriptures, uh, according to the scriptures, uh, that's what oh, that's exactly what I was gonna go into. But um, according to the scriptures, we're gonna be receive the kingdom of heaven where there's gonna be uh, uh, perfect harmony, quiet, there's just gonna be peace on this earth, man, instead of wars and disease and bloodshed and uh, rape and adultery and, you know and all the different types of abominations these people like to die dwell in you know so it says i'm just gonna read some more under this liberty whether physical or moral or spiritual so liberty freedom the opposite of servitude or bondage whether physical moral or spiritual the term is used of slaves or captives being set free from physical servitude or imprisonment or the granting of certain privileges while in prison. So it gives you an example in Ezekiel 46 and 17, but I'm not gonna get it. Reference is made to the year of liberty, the year of Jubilee, the term as a legal and moral tone in 1 Corinthians 79, and asserting the right of a widow to remarry. See, that's where they're going off at. The special concern of Christianity is the spiritual liberty of believers in the Lord found in union so it gives, gives you goes into some Esau going off uh, so let me go back into this again I still want to find this one scripture it looks like it's not going to give it to me though okay Well, it looks like I'm not going to find it. Alright. Alright. So let's get down into it. Let's get down into it. Alright. What, what I was speaking on was... What, I was, what was on my mind uh, on my way here? Now, you know, I mean, it's been on my mind ever since they opened things back up, stores opened back up. You know, it's uh, the, it's giving people a, 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 Esau's giving people a sense of um, normalcy again. But uh, <laughs> all they're doing is just playing mind games on these people, man. They're playing mind games on the people. You know, put them on lockdown, take their freedoms away. Uh, uh, increase their stress levels, you know, people were anxious, on edge, you know, perfect example you see uh, with married couples, uh, what you call um, domestic violence is on the ride. So Esau's playing mind games with these people, man. So he, so he opened things up so somewhat. <laughs> Even though a lot of these businesses ain't opening back up or shut down for good, you know. So people think it's all good. They're, they're, you know, everything's all good. People like children, man. People are just like kids, man. You know? You know? Scriptures refer to them as sheep. They're sheep. You know? They're, they're easily told what to do. 
Don't question the damn thing. They're easily told what to do and they're going to do just that. So this devil said, jump off the bridge, that's exactly what they're going to say. That's exactly what the people are going to do, going to jump off the bridge. Because he saw, all the devil had to say is, jump off this bridge, you're going to live, and we're gonna, you're going to receive benefits. And that's exactly what the people are going to do. They're stupid, man. People are fools. Straight up fools. So everything seems to be somewhat normal, you know. This is an example. This, it, things are just somewhat normal now. <laughs> when the worst is yet to come. The worst is yet to come. All right, so let me give me a scripture on that. You know, fucking every, the weekend opened up. The, that's, that, they, they, Esau probably planned it perfectly. But everything somewhat opened up at the beginning. Uh, at the, uh, uh, I can't remember if it was Thursday or Friday or whatever, man. These people were driving up and down these streets like animals, man. You know? You know? Their behavior, the people in these, be their behavior in these stores, uh, uh, the restaurants. The, I mean, these people are, you know, the people are animals, man. You know? Just straight up animals, man. You kidding me? <laughs> you know? They've been lulled right back to sleep again. You know? Their daddy Esau them rocked them right back to sleep, man. You know? But the thing is, what I was talking about with that liberty and how we're going to receive delivery in the kingdom, you know, this ain't no goddamn kingdom of ours, you know? This ain't no place, and this is definitely no time to be falling right back to sleep again, man. Well, since shit been opening back up, you know? Things open back up, everybody's just lost. Everybody been, uh, uh, went right back into devil mode again. They come out their holes in their rocks and come right back out here in their, uh, their, uh, they're, uh, they're going to turn into devils again, man. You know? This is crazy, man. It ain't no... This is it's absolutely amazing, man. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. So speaking, the message is to Jake, the Israelites, man. You know? That's falling right back to fucking sleep. This ain't no kingdom of ours. Like the scripture says. Let me get it. Let me get it. I know it's the book of Micah. Come on. Micah 2 and 10 says, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sour destruction. So the scripture says, rise up and depart. And that means spiritually, mentally and spiritually, you know, get ready to get the hell up out of here, man. But like I said, what's been given to these people as a stumbling block, we're trying to give you the truth. And the truth is, the Lord is about to destroy this wicked ass place, man, that he called America. You understand what I'm saying? According to the scriptures, the Lord said he's going to destroy this wicked ass place that they call America, man. You know? What's up, man? Right, right. Yeah, I, I've got my snap, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's all good. That's all it is. That's hey, all good. Hey, get that money. Bro. What you looking for? What you, you said my snap said? Yeah, yeah. just amazing man it's just amazing it is it's just amazing he said i finally get to meet a, a, a israelite well what do you want to meet one for when, when you meet them then what then <laughs> what then after you meet them what then you know 
I don't forgot. Oh. Um, two and ten. Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. So this ain't the promised land. This ain't the goddamn promised land. He's in, his, he's in his promised land, man. You know? You get to run and, and commit adultery and eat all kinds of foul, abominable things. <laughs> you get to stay stuck on stupid, literally, in this side. Lord's about to burn this shit up, man. You know what? This is funny. There's a comedy with, um, there's a comedy with, um, uh, Robert Townsend. Damn, what's it called? It's a funny-ass comedy, man. Where they escape their slave master, and uh, and they are they, they on the edge of the hill trying to climb, about to climb over, and he and the dude is talking to the girl. Said, we we got we got to face the master. We're going to the promised land, the promised land. And he picks up the white chick and pulls her over the hill and runs off and leaves the black one. It was a funny ass comedy, man. But he was saying the perfect slave master tone, going to the promised land. But the name of the movie, uh, Robert Townsend, one of his comedies, uh. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely gonna make a video on this if I can remember, Lord willing. Um uh Hollywood Hustle. Um remember what Robert Townsend, that's all I can remember. Robert Townsend. It's a funny ass slave skit where they escape from the slave master, man. This ain't no goddamn kingdom, man. This ain't the kingdom. You know? You know, how you know we're gonna be in the kingdom? You know, a lot of y'all gonna be born into the kingdom. You know, a lot, of, a lot of these people are gonna be born in the kingdom, but you're not. We're not gonna be in the kingdom until there's all there's peace. There's peace, man. I don't just find peace. Peace is when all hell is breaking loose in the next block over, the next street over, the next city, other side of the world. You know, that's not the kingdom. In the kingdom of heaven, there's gonna be peace on the whole earth, man. You know, not just when you walk your simple ass in your crib. Where your straps are, you can lock your doors, you know, you think you're at peace. Nah, no, man, that's a false sense of security. That's what that shit is, a false sense of security, man. You know, you locking your doors and you got a strap and you think you, you're safe, man. You know, you're only safe if the Lord is protecting you, period. So let me look into the scripture on this, on this kingdom of heaven. Examples of how we know we're in the kingdom of heaven. And there's definitely... The, several bunch of scriptures on the prophets prophesying on the kingdom of heaven not saying it already happened but they're prophesying on the scripts on the on the kingdom of heaven man and i wish i had my child with me today Oops. this is heat I don't expect the temperature to be up in the 80s today So the word heaven, the word heaven shows up 796 times. Well, on this it does. But then again, this Bible app I got um, downloaded has other books that uh, that the Lord's not dealing with, you know. So, but so like I say on, on this Bible app that I have, the word heaven comes up 796 times. Okay, and let's just go to one of these scriptures. speaks on um, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom. You know what? Let me just go to the book of Isaiah. Make it simple. Yeah. I gotta have this. 80 some degrees today. So spring is officially here. And that's one thing about good weather, man. Uh, when the weather turns uh, uh, positive, when it turns, when it's pleasant, when the weather's pleasant, that's a, another thing that people are low right back to sleep, man. You know? Because there's times, get the example, there's times like in the summer, you know, after doing the yard and, you know, after eating a good breakfast or a good lunch or a good dinner, you go sit and, you know, you catch the itis, man. You, you know, this, this 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 heat has a way of drowning you and having you just laying around in lazy mode, man. I find myself, you know, catching that every long once in a while. 
Not too often, though, because I'm an active brother. You know, I'm real active, man. I ain't, I, I don't, I don't even like my woman being a lazy, being lazy, man. You know. So, like again, this is no, this is, this is not, this, this is not the promised land, you know, and nor this is the kingdom. The kingdom is again, is going to be taken, man. The kingdom when there's going to be complete peace. All hell is going to break loose before the kingdom is established here on earth, man. Before we take over, before the Lord gives tr transfer the power from one back to the who it belongs to the children of Israel man. all hell is going to break loose around here you know these people ain't going to be riding around around here at peace and all comfortable and look like look they think they're at peace man they think they're at peace and they think they're at, 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 uh, you know in a good case man you know don't, they don't even realize all hell is about to come don't even realize it man but that's the state of a mind that Edomite is supposed to be in so the Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, the 60th chapter. Arise and shine for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen up upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. That's 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 the wisdom, that's the knowledge. And especially when all hell breaks loose, when the, when the Lord brings darkness, man. His men of the Lord who would have sustained themselves, who would have stood stiffly for this word, the light is going to be shining upon them. The light is the wisdom. The light is the understanding, the knowledge. So it says, And the Gentiles, the Gentiles, shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. So this Gentiles right here is talking about the Israelites that's going to come into this truth, man. Okay? Not the other nation. So that's what these other camps will bring up and say, Oh, here we go. Like dumbass. That, that, that fool, that clown uh, um, vocab, man. That's an idiot, man. You know? He's just set up, man, just to, you know, just to be a, uh, an adversary to the truth. That demon. Lift up thy eyes round about and see all. They gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together. So those Gentiles are Israelites. All right, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come upon thee, unto thee. The multitude of camels, so okay, so here is shifting to the Gentiles of the other nations, the heathens. The multitude of camels shall cover thee, the, drum, the, the dromedaries of Median and Ephah, and they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense. And they shall sow forth the praises of the Lord. Oh, Salaki, I got to correct myself. So praises of the Lord. Those could be the Israelites. And the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Neb Nebaiah shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. So this shall include the other nations. These Gentiles, again, is only the Israelites. You know, that found the truth. Exact, perfect example, the brother that was just right here. Oh, I've been wanting to meet an Israel. Like, well, you met one. Now what? Here you go. Ran off. What's he running off for? I got something to do to ice. I, I call him, I got something to do on ice. So it says, who are these that fly as a cloud and as a doves to their window? Surely the isles shall wait for me and the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far the, from far, bring thy sons from far. That's the four corners of the earth. All right. Their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord thy power and to the Holy One of Israel because he hath glorified thee. What's up, fellas? Israelites, man. Israelites. And the son of strangers shall build up thy walls. You hear? So now we're dealing with these heathens. Now we're dealing with the natural Gentiles. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. We're not going to have Israelites in slavery, man, no matter how they look. We're not going to have Jakes in slavery, man. So these are heathens. That's going to build up the kingdom of heaven, man. All, in the kingdom of heaven, all we're going to do is be living good, period, man. You know? We're going to be living in our full glory in the kingdom of heaven, man. All we're going to be doing is just building up the kingdom, you know? And laying gold, laying silver. 
laying precious stones, you know? Giving praise to Yahweh Bush and Yahweh Shai, man. We're going to be continuing praising his name in the kingdom of heaven, man. Giving praise to Yahweh Bush, Yahweh Shai. Continuing, man. You know? With no shame. So it says, For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore the gates, therefore thy gates shall be open continually. Just like I was saying, man, the kingdom of heaven is going to be continually being built, you know, from on this planet, different other planets, man, gold, and, you know, it's just going to be, it's, it's going to just be going to be getting laid continuously, you know, it's going to be beautiful, man, you know, cattle multiplying, sheep, cattle, cows, you know, everything's going to be multiplying, gold's going to be multiplied, silver's going to be multiplied, this is beautiful, this ain't right now, though. They open the city back up, they open the country back up, and everybody don't think they done made it to the goddamn kingdom of heaven, man. You know? They totally forgot the trauma that they mentally went through the last uh, couple of months. <laughs> this ain't, that ain't over, it ain't over with. It's the worst is yet to come. That's what, you, that's what, that's a message, man. This stumbling block is, <laughs> this, <laughs> this message, which is a stumbling block to most people, man. The worst is yet to come. You know? We're not there yet in the kingdom. So it says, Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. And that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that would not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. So Jake, the twelve tribes of Israel in the kingdom of heaven, it's going to be at peace. But the other nations, man, especially this first thousand years, this is when, this is I'm, this is a future prophecy. The first thousand years, these, these nations are going to be in slavery. And, and these so -called, the so-called white man is going to be literally getting his back whipped continuously for a thousand years, man. You know, six days, the seventh day they get rest. The day of Sabbath is a Sabbath, you know. So in the kingdom of heaven, which on this side, man, we can't keep all these commandments. But in the, Lord, in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to keep them perfect, you know? We're going to keep them perfect. The Sabbath, Passover, whatever, uh, the new one that's going to come after America is destroyed, you know? And all the ones that are written in this book, man, we're going to cover everything perfect, man. We're going to hold everything perfect, man, you know? So Esau, in, his, in that seventh day, which in, in, on this side, man, we were under this devil's captivity, man. There was no Sabbath, you know? It was seven days a week. Seven days, it was that grind, we were grinding seven days a week, man. You know, some sun up to sun down. This devil was, he, uh, uh, what the scripture said, with a, uh, let me find the scripture. Payback is a motherfucker. This payback is going to be a bitch for this devil. For these devils. show you something. Isaiah 14 chapter. In Isaiah 14 and 4. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. And that Babylon is America. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the sepulcher of the rulers he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. So in slavery, man, we had it bad, man. In slavery, sun up to sun down, seven days a week, man. You know, we didn't get no goddamn vacations, man. None. We didn't get no days off. Unless one of us may have had a, uh, 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 we had a kind slave master and he may have gave, he may, he made a, he may have gave us a, a few hours off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, watch the movie like um, 12 Years a Slave, man. You know, they try to portray some of them red Edomites as kind and more generous than others, you know. 
There were some, there were those that were just t t tyrannical monsters, man. You know, t 12 Years a Slave, perfect example of a movie, man. The movie is on point like a motherfucker. 12 Years a Slave. There were some of those slave masters that was just uh, like monsters, like I said, but there were some that, was, that were more kinder to their slaves, you know. So the scripture says, with a continual, he who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger and per persecuted and none hindered. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. So a future prophecy. This is all a future prophecy, man, when the whole earth is going to break forth and sing it, man. But it ain't going to happen right now, you know. Because even right now, the animals... Right now, the animals, the trees, everything's mourning, man. You know, the animals, the trees, and the elect of Israel. Oh, you know, I mentioned, I mentioned the elect. Only the elect of Israel is mourning, man. But the rest of the people, man, can care fucking less because they in their kingdom. You know, they in their kingdom, man. So, was there more to this? Um, Here we go. Yea, the fir trees, and this is what I meant. It's scripture when I say the animals in the trees. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. You see, so the animals, the trees, the whole earth is going to be at rest, going to be at peace, man. But this ain't right now. This ain't right now. You know, don't get simple. Don't get simple. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. <laughs> hell from beneath. So now does that mean that's the hell everybody's going to go after they die? <laughs> no. You know, there ain't no hell. That's that Christian doctrine. So this hell is referring to now this earth, man. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It have rised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. And they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou also become weak, as we art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? In the Masonic doctrine, under the Mason doctrine, this they, they trying to say this Lucifer here is safe. They only understand the scriptures, man. So they're going to be destroyed for that. You know, First of all, they're Masons. They're giving um, they giving their, they pledge allegiance to a Satan, to a, a false god any damn way, man. So let me just go back to this Isaiah, what is that, 60, what's up, man? Isaiah 60 again. Future prophecy, that's what this is. It's a future prophecy. All right, um, thy gate, therefore thy gate shall be opened continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, that's all their riches that they stole. All their riches that they stole is going to be brought, brought back to us, man. You know? It's always been ours, right? You know, all the gold, the, the precious stones. They're just still, they're just in possession of it right now. You know? So it says of the Gentiles and that their kings may be brought. For the nation, and that's beautiful, man, that their kings should be brought. Brings up another scripture to mind. Hey, how you doing? You all right? continue to struggle yeah. we all struggle you know that's what this is the children of Israel that's what I was thinking at you see Judah Judah that's, Judah. that's who you want to that's, who, that's what they call us right now alright and um, you can actually be one of these did you know that your people from your father's side is probably one of us anyway Regardless of how you look, right. you know, your brothers, your father, your mom. See, my sister is Mexican. All right, so your sister's an Israelite. Yeah. So more, more than likely, you probably want to, you know, and your family, <laughs> you know. Is there anything so I can get something? I don't have nothing. I'm sorry. I don't have nothing. Oh. You know what I mean? All right, what you talking about getting? Two hot dogs. <laughs> really? You ain't just out here trying to raise money so you can get you something to drink. No, so I can get 
sir. I don't drink alcohol. I really don't. Why not? I don't like alcohol. I love alcohol. I don't like the taste of it. Oh, really? Really. All right. Well, don't. Like, I like soda. I don't. I don't like drinking too much of that. You know, that's even. I was trying to get me a soda and two hot dogs from um, the marathon up there. Right, right, right. Here you go. I can hook you up. I'm gonna give it down. What's that? So what is the 12 tribes of Israel? You ever read the Bible? See, the Bible, the actual Bible is only for those people, the 12 tribes of Israel. It ain't for, you see, but you, what you see right now, you see other nations, you see everybody got... North American Indian. Right, okay, Israelites. 12 tribes in Israel. Yep. 12 tribes. See. The 12 tribes is one nation, but within that one nation, there's 12 tribes. It's one giant nation. You know? See, and my son would be kind of like this, this, and this. North American Indian? Yeah. Right, right. And, and black, and Mexican. Right. <laughs> right. So you know the Lord, you know about the, her knee here saying, oh, the Lord's going to come save his people. The Lord's about to come. And that's correct, though, because we're in those times. We're in the last I days know. as we speak. Because, because Trump is a, is the puppet. Yeah, he's a puppet, and, all right. And, that's true. And the vice president is the Antichrist. Well, all of them are. Well, yeah. no, he's not the Antichrist. Plus, there's not just one Antichrist. There's, if you don't believe in the Lord, you're an Antichrist. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. I'm just reading the Bible off my phone instead of actually reading my Bible. I'm just reading the Bible on my phone. Like I said, instead of put reading it right here. Yeah. That's why this technology was given to us. See, women ain't supposed to walk. They're not supposed. To, they're supposed to be covered. Yeah. That's how women women supposed to be. But in this world, they push a woman to be, to expose yourself and give yourself to everybody, and, you know? So here we go. It's the book, the first, first book that, of First John. Is under your nail? Did you, was you eating some Doritos? Where, under my nail, where? Right, on your thumb. Did uh, you eat some Doritos? Oh yeah, no, some <laughs> spicy popcorn. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how it's still come from under there. Like <laughs> so check it out, First John 2. My little children, these things write unto you that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father. And they say, God, Jesus there, that's not his name, though. And the righteous, and he is, wait a minute, let me just get to my point. 2.18. Here it is. Little children, it is, ah. Little children, it is the last time, as ye have said, heard, that Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many antichrists, whereby we know that is the last time. So there's many antichrists. See, these people that's running these churches right now, the Lord ain't dealing with them, so they don't know the scriptures. They don't know what's actually going on. These people, these, these pastors that's running these mega churches, they're set up to continue to keep the majority of the people lost and stuck on stupid. That's what they're set, the Lord actually set them up to do that, you know? But there's many antichrists walking around. If you're a non-believer... See, I don't believe in religion. I believe in spirituality. That's perfect. That's perfect thinking. Yeah. Because the like, word religion... It's inner. Right. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. The word religion, what it means. Come on. Etymology dictionary. That's etymology means we're going to the order. Are you a podcast? Yeah, let's 
several years, these people have control. They've been changing a lot of the meanings of words. Because their job is to keep people stuck on stupid. Remember that. Yeah. So they're changing a lot of meaning of words so you won't actually receive the truth. All right? But the word religion itself actually means to control, to hold back, to restrain. Okay, so religion now uh, indicating a belief in a divine form. Old English, very devotion, religion, to know. Well, I'm trying to find the actual director for Latin, respect for what is sacred, reference to the gods, consciousness, sense of life, more obligation to God, divine service, religion, faith, no, it's not giving me the actual meaning. Here we go. Greek. According to Cicero, derived from religio, go through again in reading or thought from again. I see you. Okay. I'm trying to find the Latin, the actual meaning. See? Oh, here we go. To hold, therefore. To hold. To hold. It was good to have somebody. I was, it was nice to have somebody to talk to him, to the nigga. To the nigga called the girl away, man. Yeah, I mean, she's not going to receive no truth. It's just good to have somebody to talk to. You know what I mean? Anyway, let me go back to where I was. Man. I'm starting off the human head. Let me go back to where I was. Isaiah, the 60th chapter. I had, there was a scripture I had in mind in the pocket for I wanted to bring up, but the Spirit pops, if the Spirit gives it back, I'll deal with it then. Oh, oh, here it is. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was looking for in that part of So these, and they're going to bring slaves to us, man, and, and being shackled. They're going to be shackled, man. Hey, check this out. This is the, this is the, uh, this is second Ezra, the 13th chapter. After, after Ezra's uh, witnessed the destruction, after I saw the same man come down from the mountain and call unto him another peaceful multitude, that peaceful multitude are Israelites, you know? And who cares how those Jake's gonna look, those Israelites gonna look. Those that multitude are still Israelites, man, dealing with the spirit, man. You know? Or on the father's side, dealing with the flesh on the father's side, the, you know, the spirit. You know, again, I must stress, it don't matter how they look, man. That's these niggas on this side that's reject of actual brother because of how he looked. You know? So it said peaceful multitude. And there came much people unto him, wherefore some were glad. That's, that's a definite example of where we're going to fall. Some were sorry. Some of them were, some of them were brown. And that's some of them that were, are sorry, man. That might be some brothers that was running around with IUIC thinking they were doing the right thing, man. That, you know, the Lord might forgive them. But at the same time, they're going to be, hey, this madness that they, uh, with IUIC, man, that's some, that's some madness. But you got to have those examples of, uh, uh, that example of uh, uh, of uh, sincere brothers doing the work, but being led by uh, uh, with, uh, being being led by a wolf. So they won't wake up out of that. The Lord's going to break up those those other houses, man. You know, like the scripture said, the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. And when GMS is with no shadow of a doubt, GMS is definitely the house of David. You know. So again, it says, and there came much people unto him, where some were glad, some were sorry, some of them were bound, and others, some brought of them that were offered. You see that? And remember, listen, some were sorry, some of them were bound, bound. Some of them were bound.
Not out of bounds. <laughs> bounds. Let me look it up. 